So momentarily, King County officials and biologists will be showing up with our second cohort of captive brood from Lake Sammamish. The tank behind me has one-year-old kokanee, the cohort group number one that came up last year. And the fish arriving today are juvenile fry, and they will be going into the second tank we have over here. Um, biologists, when they show up, are going to acclimate the fish to the tanks by exchanging some water from our tank into their fish tote. Uh, once the fish are acclimated, they're going to be put in the tank, and then they'll be monitored for a, a while until they're uh, happy that they're doing well, and we'll wrap up. So I'm uh, Perry Falcone, and I'm uh, King County's Kokanee Recovery Manager. And so um, what we're doing is we've uh, partnered with Long Live the Kings uh, to set up basically a conservation hatchery or a captive broodstock program for kokanee salmon. And the reason we set this up is because kokanee salmon in the Lake Sammamish Basin are really depressed right now. Their numbers are very low. Three years ago, we had less than fewer than 20 fish. So we are really concerned about that population. One of the strategies we're working on is setting up a conservation hatchery. And last October, we brought 250 fish up to this hatchery and they seem to be doing really well. They're growing. And so we decided it was so successful, we're bringing up a second generation, this time by truck via the, uh, the Washington State Ferries. And uh, Long Live the Kings takes care of the fish for us. And basically after three years, about 27 months, they will come back, we'll fly back the um, spawned eggs uh, that, from these fish, and uh, that'll help supplement the, the natural fish, kokanee fish that we have in Lake Sammamish Basin.